this is a, a, almost like a dream come true because um, I started with endoscopic cardiac surgery 25 years ago. It was a very, very challenging step. And at that time, cardiac surgeons are just known to be very conservative. And uh, I brought them out of their comfort zone, which they didn't like. Which means that it took me years and years to see young guys who weren't allowed by the older ones to do this, pick up the story uh, of, of endoscopic cardiac surgery. And to see that the younger guys are now actually doing wonderful surgery the way I thought it had to be done 20 years ago for me is pure delight, really. I may say that I'm the pioneer of all this and to see the young guys come up with bright ideas, beautiful performances in a period where cardiac surgery is suffering because the interventional cardiologists are taking away a lot of our patients, which means that we did, and this is the last stronghold of cardiac surgery, they're going to be able to defend themselves. They'll become better partners in the conversation with interventional cardiologists. So this is really beautiful. More people have to do it, and uh, it is fantastic what Antonio Spitzis did right here because he brought in the industry and, and he could motivate the industry to be a sponsor of this meeting, and that is going to be more important next year and in the coming years. But, and, and, but, but this is the basis of a new type of collaboration between interventional cardiologists and surgeons.